Hello. Okay. Hello, this is Nickel Mickel. What I'm going to be doing here is a Nickelodeon arcade tier list. What I'm going to be doing here is ranking the 13 video zone levels. These are the video zone levels besides the wizard levels because obviously the wizard levels are the same. So what I'm going to be doing is the, the 13 levels that are either level 1 and 2. Starting us off is Alien Moon Base. What you need to do in this level is collect three circuits from the moon base to shut it down while avoiding the insectoid, steam, laser bot, and its lasers. The thing, the tip is you need to hit that switch. You see that, that green and red button? You have to hit those to activate the bridge to get the second reactor, the one on the left. It's a really cool design with the level. It's It does feel like a unique video game. However, the tip with the light bridge is kind of mandatory because, because you have to hit it to get the other reactor. Otherwise, you can't do the game properly. Otherwise, it's a pretty nice game. Copy. And where, where am I going to be putting this? Who else but B? Yeah, we're putting in B right now. Okay. Next one is O. Oh, before for each of these, for each of the levels, I will explain someone who struggled. So for the alien boom base, I will be including Joseph from episode 17 because he's the not only is he the first player to completely lose that level, he's the first person in Nick Arcade history to make a shutout. Yeah, shutouts are not fun, and there are six of them. There are six of them in this show's history, so we'll be going through those throughout this project. So next level that we'll be discussing is the runaway rail car. You have to go on a western rail car to pick up three coins while avoiding tumbleweed, cactus, timbers, rats, and vultures. Get the luck stone to restore your power. This... This one I always liked because it's very innovative, it's unique, I like the setting, and the music is pretty good. I also like the music in Alien Moon Base, but this one's more authentic. So I decided to put this up in, in letter A for awesome. Okay. Uh, full disclosure, the, the first person to do this in the was Nicole, and she got only one coin. This was the official pilot of Nick Arcade, and she was also the first person to reset in any level. All right, let's move on to the next level. Oh my god, how do I... Okay, there we go. This is the Nile River Raft. I honestly, it's basically the same concept as rail car except you have different enemies and this one actually takes a lot longer to get the gems it is kind of derivative and the music isn't the best so i'm gonna put this in c yeah there are a bunch of people who there are a bunch of people who lost this level, and uh, I think there was Amy, and then Jamie, and then, oh, Anthony, in the sneak preview. Yeah, but this one takes too much time, in my opinion. But the next level is a lot easier. This one is Jungle Fever. Basically, you have to... Cl like three bunches of bananas from the trees while avoiding the monkeys throwing coconuts as well as the toucan, snake, and the piranha. Touch the golden aisle so that you can use the rope to swing across from tree to tree instead of climbing back down to the, to the other one. This one was pretty cool. It does seem like another real video game, and uh, it is it does feel easy enough. And... I don't really have any negative things to say about this one. So. 
I'm going to put this one in A tier as well. Uh, there was a there were a few contestants who struggled with this though, including Ryan, who whose first banana wouldn't work due to tech issues. Ugh, stupid keyboard not working. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, I got it. Next one is food frenzy. This one's. Very easy. All you have to do is run across the room to get three books and knock the sneakers out to pause everything for five seconds. Only a few, only like two people really struggle with this level. Uh, April. I think they were both named April. Huh. But, uh, but yeah, this is a very, fairly easy level. Though it does seem a little childish with all the, the concept of the food fight. So I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna put this in. B. Oh yeah, I got. I figured out to wipe the keyboard. You just tap the image. I consider this one a breather level because if you have a one that takes time, like Alien Moonbase, you got this one to this one to save yourself a little bit more. Speaking of, this next level, though, is, could be either one. Uh, it's called the Mind Maze. Basically, you need to run across the, the grid while avoiding three kinds of enemies, which are the spears, the fireballs, and the electric squares. This one, if you're really fast, it's going to be pretty easy, but those electric squares are really the enemies that you have to avoid since they drain your power basically instantly. There's a power-up which is a power square which almost never appeared in the show since it was it was kind of impossible to get anyway but I really enjoy this level because it's it's all about speed and agility it's a pretty cr creative one at that also it looks reminiscent to that of the brain surge floor the 5x5 five five even in my opinion it's just a it's a pretty creative concept for a level. And I I think people are gonna like playing this game to test their test their real physicality. So I'm putting in S. It should be a real video game. Next we have Cliffhanger. This one's this one's pretty hard in my opinion because okay, you got you have to collect three coins out of the caves by smashing them, while avoiding the vultures, snakes, rock slides, and the lizards. This one is pretty hard because it's it's honestly hard to crawl in those. It's hard to crawl quickly enough to avoid all the enemies, but I will say I do. I do like the music in this one too. However, it really is a. It really is a pretty hard level. The first person to try this Rizwan didn't get it, and, the, and so did the fourth, as did the fourth person not get it. I'm going to give this... Now we're gonna get to another one. This is Ancient Tube, where you basically have to collect three, collect one of the coins from upstairs and two from downstairs, hidden in the crypts while avoiding the idol, floor spikes, the witch doctor, fireballs and bats. You basically use the sunlight to clear everything. Yeah, this one's honestly a little too simple. You just need to touch the, touch the coins in the sunlight. Of course, this is the level where Nadine failed. And the second level one shut out. She's the first person. She was the first person to try this one anyway, so that gives her justification. Anyways, it isn't. It's not that creative in my opinion. I feel like it's just another Egypt level, like the Nile raft. So I find that kind of weird. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in C though, since uh. Since 
Otherwise, nobody really struggled with this level. Huh. Now we're getting into Season 2, starting with the Enchanted Flight. Basically, you need to collect three golden rings while avoiding everything, including the genie. Touch the magical lamp to restore power. Much Okay, another collect the items along the way and potentially restore your power thing. This one's also pretty creative. It's a... I don't remember what region, what national region this is, but it's another good setting. Uh... I will, s I will say there's a lot more diversity with the enemies. There's like six in them. Uh, we got the guards, the genie, the dragon, the snake, the gate, and I believe a dog. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm going to copy this. And where, where am I going to be putting it? Oh yeah, a bee. All right, just week, there was one player who couldn't get it. I believe there was one player who couldn't get it in season two, episode ten. He never reached the lamp. Basically, couldn't jump properly. Next one is actually pretty cool. It's haunted museum. This is kind of like the, this is like the ancient two, but actually a lot more creative and uh, innovative. Basically, you need to collect three artworks while avoiding the bats. That statue and the tentacle and arm. You need to use the the sunlight to clear everything. Uh oh, oh that reminds me. I forgot to mention for Cliffhanger. A lot I I put it in rather hard mainly because it's honestly hard to very difficult to use that power up without being attacked by every other enemy. This one though. It's, it's much easier to use to clear everything. It's a really creative one. It's it's nice little music. Feels a lot more like a video game than the Ancient Tube. So I'm going to put this one in the A tier. All right. Uh, three remaining. This is a, this is a rather controversial one it's a uh, monsters on the loose basically you have to climb buildings to save the humans from aliens and their monsters there's a satellite to clear them kind of like the curtain but this one is infamous because i had four shutouts three of which were consecutive and the three were pretty much when it was first opening one of which was jamal who ran off thinking he had cleared it already when he needed one more human it honestly is really hard to climb all that. I like the design, but it's honestly a little too chaotic for a children's game, let alone an interactive one. As a result, I'm gonna put this in I'm gonna put this in the D. There were a couple people who really maneuvered this well, and that's great, but it's just very hard to climb that in time. Speaking of hard ones, I have one, I have another one that's probably even harder. No, definitely even hard. This is snow slingers. You have to hit the elves while avoiding their snowballs and foxes. There's also a snowman you hit, and they they dance stiltedly for five seconds, making it much easier to hit. But the thing is, not only is it hard, is there. Not only is it hard to catch them considering how fast they're moving, but nobody ever even hit the snowman, which honestly made me irrationally angry. But I will say the one redeeming quality is the art of the level. It's pretty it's pretty decent, but otherwise it's just really, really hard because everything moves too quickly. It's too much like a real game. It's honestly not very it's honestly not very fun if because it's too much like a real life game. Video games are supposed to be something that you can't do in real life, like all the other stuff. So, arguably, I have to put this in F. 
Lastly, we have Sub Search, which is pretty s similar concept to the Rail Car Enchanted Flight. This time, it's it's with a prop, which is honestly why I don't like I don't like this and uh, Snow Slingers for the same reason. They use props instead of only the person. They're the mouse instead of whatever the prop is. The music at this one is decent, so is the art, but it's honestly really hard to get it. I know there were like most of the people missed a chest. I think it was the second one and then had to wait for the fourth too. Who there for. But it's... I will say I I appreciate their diversity. And there was... Oh. And I think there was only one time a person had to resend this. So that's a bit of a redeeming quality. Uh, so yeah, I believe we have all of them. So let me just review the list for you. S, Mind Maze, A, Runaway Rail Car, Jungle Fever, and Haunted Museum, B, Alien Moon Base, Food Frenzy, Enchanted Flight, C, Nile River Raft, Ancient Tomb, D, Cliffhanger, Monsters on the Loose, Subsearch, and F, Snow Slingers. But I will say, the, of the people who were able to handle such hard levels, they did a good job. Well, there is Joy, who was the worst player ever. She didn't save even one human. She did leave with manga bikes, but uh, people who shut, the couple of the other people who shut out, oh, which were, which were uh, Joseph and Alex, they left with only $100. So always remember that whatever item you pick, you get $50. And do your best because if you get all the all these items, you're going to the wizard level. Again, we, we're not ranking the wizard levels because they're the same, but I'm happy to have done this. Thanks, everyone. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I was happy to do my first interactive video. Or I mean, have my voice into a screen share or anything. Comment whatever you have to do, but uh, have a great day.